Hey everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. In previous class of how to become system administrator, we talked about what is basic of networking. We discussed about the different classes of IP address. We talked about uh, range of public and private IP address and I hope you guys are okay with the topics that we completed so far. I am moving ourselves to the another important topic as per the agenda that we decided in case of system administrator. You also need to know about the basic of networking because we are responsible to take care of the communication between resources, we are responsible to resolve the issues related to no internet access. And you also need to know about how to send data, transfer data resources from one machine to another machine. I am moving myself to the screen that I can show you the what are the topics that we need to cover in case of basic of networking and according to that we can proceed for the next. I am moving myself to the screen but before that if you are new on my YouTube channel, if you are watching my video first time, do subscribe because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that give you 100% live practical based video without the skip any step. I hope everyone able to see my screen. Guys, this is the agenda that we decided before what is networking about LAN, MAN and WAN, about the IP address class, range of IP address, default subnet and uh, the version of IP address I am talking about IPv4 and IPv6. Right. So, we are on page of, we already discussed about the all part like as a what is networking about LAN, MAN, WAN and third part we also completed address, IP address class, range and uh, default subnet and version of IP address. Now we are on page of CIDR calculation, you can also say that right this is considered as a subnetting. The meaning of subnetting as per the name suggests is uh, a kind of calculation method that help us to calculate the usable IP address. I am going to give you a few examples that you can understand properly about how to calculate the usable IP address with the help of address space and with the help of CIDR value. Let me give you one example. For example, we have one IP address based on class C 192.168.1.0 slash 26, right? So, for example, this is our CIDR value and uh, our responsibility to calculate uh, subnet, right? What is subnet and uh, we also need to know about the usable IP address. So, this is our responsibility we should know about, uh, we should know about the method how to calculate the usable IP address and how we can calculate the usable IP address and subnets both. So, very basic steps required to calculate this value. What are the prerequisites that you need to keep in your mind before calculating? Simple funda, you need to know about the conversion from binary to decimal and decimal to binary. That is it, I think. And uh, with the help of these conversion, like uh, the binary number to decimal number and decimal number to binary number, we are able to calculate. Let me help you, very basic steps, like uh, easy to understand about the calculation because this is really important for everyone who are uh, responsible to manage the infrastructure like network infrastructure or normal system environment, you should know about the use cases of uh, CIDR uh, calculation or subnetting. So, let me help you to understand. As per the IP address, this is based on class C, right? So, it is clear this is the IP address that we are trying to calculate based on class C and uh, based on IPv4, correct? The capacity of IPv4 contain up to 32 bits of address. The total address contained by IPv4 as we discussed before, 128 bits contained by IPv6 and 32 bits contained by IPv4. Now, the CIDR value that we have, it is a slash 26. So, what you need to do, you just need to count slash 26 and this is the type of uh, decimal number. Slash 26 is the type of decimal number, our responsibility to divide it into, our responsibility to divide into the binary number. So, slash 26, I am going to convert into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, because the, the 32 bit of address categorized in 4 different part and each and every parts contain 8 bits, 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8, 8, 16, 24 and 32. The maximum limit of a single bit a uh, single column you can say that 32 bit 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 how much it is 16 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 how much 24 8 plus 8 plus 8 24 and the cidr value that we have this is a kind of cidr value that we have slash 26 so you just need to type 24 
25, 26, then rest of amount become 0. All right. Our responsibility, we need to calculate the value of CIDR. So, 8 bit, if you are going to calculate the 8 bit value, it becomes 255, 255, again 255. This is the binary number and we successfully converted into the decimal part and uh, let us try to calculate the another value like 1100000. So, this is the binary number I am going to convert 2 raise to power 0, 2 raise to power 1, 2 raise to power 2, 2 raise to power 3 like 4, then 5, then 6 and then 7. So, this is the complete value and if you are going to uh, multiply with any number, if, if, if the base amount, this, the base value is 0, no matter when you convert, when, when you calculate or multiply with the, any number with the 0, so it becomes 0. So, I am not going to calculate this value. We just need to calculate 2 raised to power 7 means 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 7 times, right? And now, 128 this is the value and 6 times 2 into 2 into 2 raised to power 6 the meaning of 2 raised to power 6 equal to it becomes 64. So, if you are going to just uh, combine the space of 128 plus uh, 64 it become 192. This is your subnet mass. So, we successfully calculated 255.255.255.192 this is the subnet mass that we calculated. And if you want to know about the usable IP address, you must need to subtract 256 minus 128, it becomes 64. The usable IP address will be 64 IP address you can uh, use to set up your network infrastructure. So, guys, this is the basic and really important example for subnetting. Yes, it is also considered as a subnetting or you can say that CIDR calculation. I hope you guys are okay with the topics that we completed like that, that we are trying to understand because this is really important for everyone. You should know about how to calculate the usable IP address. According to the agenda, we completed the part of subnetting. Next, talk about the static and dynamic IP address. This is really important. So, guys, you know that, for example, this is our infrastructure. This is our, our uh, infrastructure. You are working as a system administrator and your responsibility to provide communication to all the devices which are available in the environment. Okay? All the machines are basically connected with the same switch. We are going to add one mediator, the mediator considered as a switch and all the devices are connected with the same switch. It may be wired connection, it may be wireless connection, it is applicable for both. Now, you know that physically we connected to all the machine to each other, but unfortunately we are not able to send the data and receive data to each other because we do not have address. So, IP address come into the picture. In case of addressing, we have a two different option. You can proceed with the static and the another option is related to the dynamic, right? Static and dynamic. So, let me give you one practical example to understand about the gap between static and dynamic. So, let us suppose this is my machine, base machine, I am talking about the Windows computer and any Windows machine, you just need to open run, type ncpa.cpl, hit enter. It will redirect you on the page of Ethernet, a number of Ethernet adapters are available. I am just going to right click on adapter, go to the properties, IPv4 and go to the properties. This is the panel and see, obtain an address, IP address automatically, right? Means no need to provide manual. If you are going to just click here, use the following IP address and whenever we perform, whenever we provide the IP address manually, this is considered as a static IP address, right? So, meaning of automatic also considered as a dynamic and in this case, what happened in the back end, one DSCP server available, one DSCP service is running in the back end. With the help of DSCP pool, we are able to assign the IP address to a number of devices which are available in the infrastructure. So, this is the actual task of our uh, static and dynamic IP address. As per the name suggests, static IP address kind of fixed IP address, right? It is fixed IP address, but dynamic IP address uh, provided by DHCP server means if any DHCP server that you establish in the back end. DSCP server is responsible to assign the IP address to our uh, uh, resources and it may be changed because the dynamic as per the name suggests it may be changed as per the availability of IP address. All right. 
so i hope you guys are okay with these point and then last topic of uh, uh, like uh, basic of networking we are going to discuss about the pipa mac address and uh, loop back address apart from these three different point we also we are also going to talk about uh, like uh, osi model tcp ip model we are going to cover each and every part so that's it for now we'll connect uh, soon in next class and discuss more about the microsoft uh, uh, like so about the the basic of networking and we'll guide you about how to become system administrator so uh, thank you so much guys we'll connect soon with another class and uh, take care do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel take care guys